My name's Chris Rose and uh, I am co-director of the team sent into space. Uh, the team responsible for sending the, uh, the beautiful Seiko Astron into near space. Uh, we thought we'd give you a quick update video seeing as a lot of questions are coming through as to what's happened since we did the launch uh, and to also inform you that it's still out there, it still hasn't been found. Perhaps we can, with a little more information, um, you guys might stand a better chance of, uh, of finding the watch. So it's probably a great time to touch on a little bit more detail of what actually happened on the day. Allow me to introduce you to our tracker. Um, this is the only piece of information that we had during the day to give us position and altitude throughout the flight. Um, what we'd actually done is programmed this to turn off again just after the burst. So uh, we were receiving information beautifully up to the, the top of the flight and then the first part of the descent, at which point our tracking device turned itself off in the spirit of the chase. So we know that it was last seen um, just to the west of Sheffield, uh, around 24 kilometers. That was the last uh, piece of information we had from our tracking device. I can show you what that looks like as a flight path. So here's our launch site at Carsington Water in Derbyshire. Um, we can see the flight path going up here, steadily up to the point of bursting, just to the west of Sheffield. That's followed by a really fast descent uh, initially because the air pressure is so low, so there's no air resistance really to slow the watch down at all. Um, rapidly drops to a height of about 24 kilometers, getting a little bit further west. Um, but we can see from the, the wind directions and the wind paths at different altitudes, that um, we would definitely expect from this point a northeast direction of drift. So the payload was last seen drifting northeast of Sheffield towards Barnsley, Doncaster Way. We provided some further clues on social media that gives a forecasted splat, and by that I mean this is the area that the payload may have come down in. So what are you looking for? So, um, to give you an idea of the parachute that's on board, this is a very similar example. It's the same colors and it's a similar size. So if you see something like this in amongst uh, fields or roads or trees, then you might be in luck. In terms of the payload, um, here we have an example of a very typical payload size. This is pretty much what you're looking for as well. So either of these two things, and uh, you probably find yourself a Seiko Astron attached to it.